Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Monday, May 21st, 2012. We begin with exciting news from the world of medicine. Scientists in Spain have conducted a study on an anti-aging gene therapy. The study's success is being called a proof of principle, encouraging further investigation into such treatments. To understand how this therapy works, we must first review some basic knowledge about chromosomes. They're essentially tight packs of DNA and protein that serve as a nice compact storage structure. The important part in relation to aging are the telomeres that cap off each end of a chromosome. In an average adult cell, the telomeres get slightly shorter every time a cell divides, meaning they act as a biological doomsday clock. Once the telomeres go, the genome quickly becomes damaged so the cell dies. However, there are immortal cells, stem cells, and cancer have the ability to rebuild their telomeres with the enzyme, unsurprisingly called telomerase. Because this incredible enzyme is also a central component of cancer, there is concern that anti-aging treatments might cause cancer. But back in 2007, the same scientists were talking about modifying mice embryos to express telomerase and additional cancer-fighting genes into adulthood. These fully transgenic mice lived 40% longer than the average and didn't develop cancer. Now this new study about the gene therapy is even more important. Because it demonstrates this kind of treatment could eventually work on people already born. Mice were injected with a virus containing the telomerase gene. When injected in one-year-old mice, they lived 24% longer than average. Not only did it increase the mice lifespan, but delayed the onset of age-related diseases, and most importantly, did not increase cancer risk. Obviously, it'll be a while before something like this is applied to humans, but it's an incredibly promising first step. Next is a quick update from the world of neuroscience. Researchers from the University of Ottawa have demonstrated an interesting function for a gene. The gene is called SNF2L and is known to play a role in genetic folding and gene regulation. So to find out more about it, they mutated mice to not express the gene. These mice were completely healthy except for one difference, their brains were 35% bigger. Every area of their brains had more cells and more actively dividing stem cells. Obviously, this gives the researchers huge insight into the brain's development. It was also discovered that the SNF2L interacts with the gene that causes the intellectual disability Rett syndrome in certain cases. Hopefully drugs could even be developed that target this gene to stimulate brain regeneration. Our final story is from the field of biotechnology, a discovery from the expedition to the rainforest of Puerto Rico by U.S. Department of Energy's Joint Bioenergy Institute has revealed a new strain of the bacteria. This bacteria has promising characteristics for biofuel production from cellulose. As you may know, cellulose is found in the cell walls of all plant cells and as such is a waste product of all crop plants. Currently, however, cellulose is difficult to make into biofuels owing to its low solubility in water and complex structure, which must be first broken down before bacteria can convert it into fuel, which must be removed before bacteria can get to work. It has been shown to break down waste plant material and resist a solvent which dissolves cellulose. It's hoped that, in the near future, scientists will be able to genetically engineer bacteria using genes from this bacteria that enable them to convert cellulose into fuel and survive the use of solvents, allowing for easier and quicker production. Right now, most biofuels are produced from sugars, starches, and oils, and struggle to compete with fossil fuels for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. These low-energy cellulosic fuels have the potential to reduce emissions by 85% compared to gasoline. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.